The double cover by ARE provides two functions in one cover. Slide the cover open or use the lockable top handle to lift the cover. To install the cover, you'll need a T30 and T20 Torx and a 13mm wrench. Lay the canister assembly in a spacious work area. Locate the smaller of the two rails. This is the lower rail. Insert the channel of the lower rail into the three tabs on the side of the canister. Make sure the end of the lower rail is flush with the back of the canister. Use a T30 Torx to fasten the lower rail to the canister. Install the rail on the opposite side. With the assistance of another person, grab the lower rails and tip the canister back while pulling the door out from the canister. The lower rail should be facing up. Use a T30 Torx to tighten the remaining screws that secure the lower rail to the canister. Install the front corner piece to the door portion of the cover. Remove the screws from the corner piece. Line up the holes in the plastic corner with the holes in the steel bracket. Use a T20 Torx to tighten the screws. Install on the opposite side. Roll the door assembly back into the canister portion of the cover. The lower rail should be facing up. Locate the upper rails. Attach the end of the upper rail to the canister. Guide the rail onto the bearings and make sure the channel in the bottom of the rail slides onto the ridge on the canister. Inspect the plastic tab where the rail meets the canister and ensure it does not catch on the rail as it slides in to make contact with the canister. Install the corner gussets. Use a T30 Torx to install five screws. Do not over tighten. Install on both sides. Lay the cover upside down and pull the canister off of the door assembly. Use a T30 Torx to tighten the three screws on the underside of the upper rail. With assistance, lift up slightly on the rails and slide the door out. Install the door stop on the driver's side. Orient the two tabs so that they slide into the slot in the channel on the underside of the upper rail. Slide the stop to the back of the rail until it stops. Use a T30 Torx to tighten the door stop. Locate the two front clamps. Separate the two portions of the clamps by removing the bolts. Slide one clamp onto each lower rail. With assistance, lift the lower rail on both sides. Pull the end of the assist arm up. Slide the two blocks on the assist arm into the channel on the upper rail. Set the edge of the assist arm about 8 and 5 eighths inches from the end of the rail. Use a T30 Torx to tighten. Check that the rubber bumper contacts the upper rail. Locate the two rear clamps. Separate the two portions of the clamps by removing the bolts. Slide one clamp onto each lower rail. Install the strikers. Slide the two tabs on the striker into the channel on the lower rail. Align the striker with the catch on the upper rail. Test the catch and adjust as needed. Use a T30 Torx to secure the striker on the lower rail. Locate the two rear corners. Lift up on the plate with two screws. Then slide the two tabs into the channels on the upper rail. Make sure the rail seal is on the outside of the corner seal. Use a T30 Torx to tighten the corner to the upper rail. Apply foam tape along the entire length of the bottom of the rail on both sides. Apply the vehicle-specific foam tape along the bottom of the rail along the canister edge. Remove the white tape backing. With assistance, lift the cover onto the truck. Set the canister edge onto the bulkhead first. Release the lower rail from the latch on both sides at the same time. Raise the upper rail to install both struts. Snap each end to the hinge pivots. Position the front clamp half behind the rail, then slide the clamps into place over the clamp half. Insert the bolt and tighten using a 13mm wrench. Install the rear clamp. Rear clamps will vary by model. If your rear clamp has a bumper, make sure the bumper is seated against the truck bed and the striker is level. Use a 13mm wrench to tighten. 
Install the clamps on the opposite side. Check the lift operation. If the rear strikers need adjusted, use a T30 Torx to reposition the striker. Route the drain tube end out of the truck bed, then slide the drain hose connections into each of the holes in the bottom of the canister. Check for proper operation. To lift the cover open, rotate the top handle. Use the strap to close the cover down. Rotate the top handle cover to access the key lock. To slide the cover open, pull the handle underneath and push the cover forward. To slide the cover closed, use the handle on top and slide closed. The installation is now complete. For more information, please go to 4are.com.